In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a distribution list in Outlook and we'll get it done in just about five minutes. This quick guide is perfect for managing your email communication more efficiently, especially if you often find yourself sending the same message to multiple recipients. A distribution list allows you to create a single contact group so you can send your emails more swiftly without the hassle of adding each recipient one by one. Let's dive right in. To get started, you'll first want to head over to the Outlook website. If you're not logged in already, go to the Microsoft 365 Outlook login page. This is an essential first step because you need to access your account to create and manage distribution lists. Once you're on the Outlook login page, you'll see the sign in button prominently displayed. Click on sign in and enter your credentials. If you've set up two factor authentication, make sure you have your verification method ready, whether it's a text message, an authentication app or another method. Ensuring the security of your account is fundamental and these few extra seconds help keep everything safe and sound. After successfully logging into Outlook, navigate to the mail section. This is where all your emails are housed and also where we'll be creating our distribution list. On the left hand side of your screen you'll find various tabs and options. Look for groups or people in the menu. This is typically where you can manage your contacts and create new groups or lists, which we'll be doing next. Now find and click on the new group option. This will open up a new window or pane where you can start defining the details of your distribution list. When you click on this, you'll see that Outlook prompts you for several pieces of information to set up your new distribution list. You'll need to give your group a name. Choose something descriptive so that you can easily recognize what it's for later on. Additionally, you may want to add a short description. This step is optional, but it might be useful if you're managing multiple distribution lists within Outlook. Once you've named your group and added a description, if desired, it's time to create it. Look for the Create button on the screen. Clicking this will officially establish your new distribution list so that you can start adding members to it. But remember, at this point, the list is empty, so let's populate it with members. The next step is crucial because it involves adding mail contacts to your distribution list and this is where the magic truly begins to happen. Click on the add members button. This action will enable you to add email addresses to your group. You can add members one by one by typing in their email addresses. As you type, Outlook may suggest contacts from your directory if you've interacted with them before. Choose the correct email and the person will be listed as a member of your group. Continue adding everyone you need to be included in this distribution. Notably, Outlook gives you control at every step, ensuring you're adding the right recipients and avoiding any mistakes. If you're unsure or want to pause, you do have the option to select not now at this point. This allows you to save the group for later continuation without finalizing the list. It's a handy feature if you're interrupted or need more time to gather all the necessary contact information. And that's it. You've successfully set up a distribution list in Outlook. From this point on, whenever you want to send an email to multiple recipients in your group, you just need to enter the group name in the recipient field and all of them will receive your message. It streamlines your workflow and makes communicating with a select set of people quicker and simpler. In conclusion, building a distribution list in Outlook can significantly improve your email efficiency, especially for recurring communication with large teams or groups. It might be helpful to periodically review and update your lists to ensure all contacts remain relevant and up to date. I hope you found this guide straightforward and easy to follow. If you run into any issues, checking Microsoft's official resources can provide additional assistance tailored directly to any specific concerns you might encounter. Thank you for watching and happy emailing.